north northeast at eight and you can see the track. It made landfall around seven this morning right at the big bend of Florida. It'll continue tracking on this north northeast direction, but what it'll do is we go Tuesday into Wednesday night. It's really going to slow down quite a bit and that's a concern uh, for coastal Georgia and the low country uh, with a slow movement of a tropical system could really put down quite a bit of a tropical rains as we go into tonight, especially tonight. Some of the heaviest of the rain and throughout the daytime on Tuesday and then notice this. It basically drifts on late Tuesday, Wednesday, all the way into Thursday and eventually moves out across the Piedmont of North Carolina there on Friday, moving out of our area. There is a tornado watch out for all the counties along and east of I-95, and this is also including Claxton, Reedsville, Jessup and Blackshear. Uh, what this means is that the eastern track of this, the east side of the storm is where those isolated tornadoes will be possible. Places like Sylvania, Stakesboro, Meadow, Vidalia and Hazelhurst, Baxley, you'll be on that western side, so less likely that you'll see a tornado. And here's a live radar. You can see where the uh, tropical storm is now as it's moving up closer to the, uh, the actually really right now around the border of Georgia and Florida. But look at all this tropical moisture coming in off the Atlantic. This is what's all tracking our way. And also remember with this slow movement with this, that's when potentially we could see some flooding rains already. Of course, with these rains that we've seen uh, this morning, some standing water on the roadway. But look at these uh, dark uh, yellow areas and even some uh, areas out of the coastal water have been tracking this. Some of these isolated areas you could see maybe a, a water spout or two. Maybe they'll try to spin up as they get closer to land. But right now, do not see a problem with that as of right now. But that could change as we go throughout the afternoon and also into tonight as the center of circulation gets closer to us. A steady rain for just about all of us, even those tropical downpours uh, from Hampton, also for Beaufort, Hilton Head, seeing some moderate rain. And the winds have been noticing at Tybee, not a problem right now, but as the center of circulation gets a little bit closer to us, those winds will pick up. And I'll show you the impacts that we're going to see here in just a second. But from Beaufort to Hilton Head, also around Bluffton Highway 270, definitely a sloppy go all the way out toward uh, Hardyville, southbound on I-95 to Polar, Savannah, toward the islands, Wilmington Island and Tybee, definitely seeing that light rain but even some of that heavier rain begin to approach uh, Tybee Island. Now here are the impacts that I'm anticipating. Uh, this is um, east of I-95. The areas that are under that tornado watch, those isolated tornadoes will be possible. This is from today all the way through Wednesday. So just not only uh, today that we will see it, but also as it goes all the way through the middle of the week, 8 to 15 inches of rain. I, I really believe a lot of us will see probably between 8 and 10 inches, some isolated areas between 15 and maybe a little bit higher than that. And then the wind Wind gusts, of course, will be a problem later tonight and into tomorrow. Maybe seeing some winds gusting at times close to 50 miles per hour. Of course, heading rain, that flooding will be possible as well during times of those tropical downpours. If you live west of I-95, Almost a very similar impact. So those rainfall totals, uh, maybe at least 12 inches, a little higher in some areas. The wind gusts may be not as strong, but still winds gusting tropical storm wind gusts around 40 to 45 miles per hour, maybe up to 50 and a few areas. The tornado threat a little lower, but especially right near I-95, the best chance that you may see an isolated tornado is, of course, street flooding will be possible and also power outage as well will be a concern as well. When you get all this rain, that wind picks up when those uh, wet grounds definitely could cause some issues issues with some trees and branches that could come down that could cause some power outage. Always remember WJCL.com and also download the WJCL news app right to your smartphone. This is something you want to download. If your power goes out, you, you need this to keep up with the uh, threat of severe weather. Also, this heavy rain and possibility of flooding. You can see it right there on your screen. We'll be back here in about 30 minutes with another update and I continue to track out Debbie. You're watching WJCL 22 news. Here's a live look from downtown Savannah from the Thompson Hotel.